what's up guys so in this video i'm going to tell you exactly what's in my wallet for the month of october for more videos like this one hit that subscribe button but for now let's go Boom. <laughs> what's up guys it's jay and welcome back to the channel shit i haven't done this in a long time what's up guys it's jay and welcome to flashpoint we're all about credit credit cards and other finance tips if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing also be sure to smash that like button for me for that youtube algorithm it helps me out a lot i appreciate it and Comment down below with your thoughts on this video. I really appreciate it. Also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new, all you have to do, be subscribed, comment, and like the videos, and that will enter your name into the giveaway. I really appreciate it. So guys, like I said, what's in my wallet? So uh, for the month of October, I'm only using a few cards that I actually keep in my wallet or in my phone case, actually. And, um, it's not that many, but I do have cards that I use for certain categories that I keep on automatic spending. But for the sake of the length of the video, I won't go into details with those. Um, I've you know mentioned them in previous what's in my wallet videos, but these are basically the ones I'm mainly using for the month of October. And obviously for my everyday pretty much usage in terms of dining and groceries. Um, obviously my go-to card is going to be my American Express Gold card. Gives you 4X on dining, 4X on groceries. Gives you 3X on, uh, is it travel through Amex travel? And you can also book prepaid hotels, I believe, through the Amex portal, uh, the luxury hotel collection. And then after that, it is one point per dollar spent on top of all of that it's a metal card it's great love it right now after that is going to be my chase sapphire not psych i still have this card i think i think that's all don't want to my puppy fuck yeah! i'm just kidding <laughs> nope Definitely don't use that card anymore. But I do have a referral link if you would like to sign up for that 60,000 point sign up offer. It's down in the description. So just look for it, click it. And uh, if you have any issues, just comment down below if you'd like to use my referral link. It really supports the channel out. I appreciate it. Anything down in that description will support the channel. So I appreciate it, guys. Anyways, the next card that I use is my Hilton Surpass card. And I'm using this because uh, I want to get that free anniversary night well technically it's not a free anniversary night but it this card in order to get an anniversary night it does require fifteen thousand dollars in spend over the course of the year in order to get that anniversary night so i think that is a pretty valuable uh thing to have seeing how i do have some trips that i am kind of thinking about um for future you know for future travels and so uh you know if I can get that 15K plus, you know, uh, it's three points for every dollar spent uh, in terms of like non-category spending. I, I like this card and you get automatic gold status. You get 10 priority pass visits that come with this card. You also get your priority pass card sent in the mail. Um, I really do like this card. I think it is probably the it is the most slept on card in terms of mid-tier uh hotel cards uh in general you know we'll just I, I feel like it's the most undervalued or most underestimated card that's out there at the moment there is also a link to this card if you would like to get this card uh if you'd like to apply again like i said anything down in the description supports the channel and i appreciate it but so far that's basically all i'm using right now guys other cards that i'm using are on automatic payments you know such as the ink cash and um yeah i don't necessarily think i'm going to be using my five percent categories 
for my Chase Freedom card this month, or actually this quarter, to be honest. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm only really using two cards this month, and it makes it a lot easier now that I don't have uh, minimum spins to hit. Also, uh, it just makes it a lot easier to just manage two cards. Um, I do have some of my annual fees about to hit, and so I'm having to come up uh, with some decisions that I'm going to have to make, uh, whether or not I'm either going to downgrade my cards or keep the cards. If you have either one of these cards, let me know what you like best about them and what is in your wallet for the month of October. Just leave it down in the comments below. That'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Comment down below to let me know what's in your wallet for the month of October and maybe even for the quarter. I'm interested to know. Let me know. And don't forget to hit the bell notifications down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit, ah, ah, this is a lot different, is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!